Hey WA, it's Joey Powers here to bring you the latest and greatest in announcements of what's happening up on the hilltop. Yesterday we had three opening games for our winter season. First, the varsity boys basketball team opened up at home against Brimmer in May last night. Quest Harris led the Hilltoppers with 17 points and 6 rebounds en route to an 80-72 victory over the Gators. Jordan McAllister and Dylan Leon each scored 11 while Paul Durkee added 10. The team will be away all week but will return home next weekend for the Blackburn Tournament. The Varsity Boys Ice Hockey Team opened up their season yesterday afternoon at the new Worcester Ice Center against a tough Middlesex squad. Crystal Mastro opened up the scoring for the Hilltoppers when he netted the first goal of the season in the first period. Mitch Pelletier and Joe Morgan scored a goal in the second period as the Hilltoppers led after two periods 3-1. Middlesex scored midway through the third to close the lead to one, but the Hilltoppers held on with help behind outstanding goaltending by Nathan Pickett with 33 saves and, and help from a strong defense. The boys hockey team will play at home Saturday against Holderness at 440. The varsity girls ice hockey team opened up on the road against rival Tilton Academy. The girl squad came away with a decisive victory of 5-1. The Hilltoppers jumped out in the first period to a 2-0 lead behind goals from Mickey Sindoris and Laura Hill. The Lady Hilltoppers added a third goal by Tia Martinetti in the second to extend the lead to 3-0 before Tilton scored its lone goal of the game in the same period. Kiera Wall and Morgan Mordini completed the scoring of, with goals each in the third period. Megan Miranda was a brick wall in the net, stopping 20 of 21 shots. The Hilltopper are next on the ice Saturday at the Western Ice Center against Portsmouth Abbey at 4 p.m. Amnesty International's Penny for Peace collected money at the boys game yesterday. Remember, a little can go a long way for children's education, so please try to donate You could say it's going to be a cold one this weekend with the temperature average at 45 degrees. It's going to be cloudy, so don't plan on tanning. Also this weekend, we have a few holiday events that you are welcome to attend. Tomorrow night is the City of Worcester Annual Festival of Lights. The buses are going to leave at 6.30 p.m. and will be back by 9. Don't forget about the ice rink on the quad either. It will be revived. On Saturday, they, on Saturday, there will be a Boston Holiday Tour, and on Sunday, there will be an open studio for the Holiday Clay Gift Giving Workshop, which will take place in the art studio from 1 to 4 p.m. And a Natick Mall trip, just in case you want to start your Christmas shopping now. Well, that all wraps up what's been going up on the hilltop. Enjoy your weekend, WA, and I'll see you next time. This is Joey Powers signing off on behalf of Oski Vision. Stay frosty, everyone.